Uh, I think desire is one of the factors that define who we are um, and yet at the same time I think it's a force that is bigger than any label or any category of identity. I think it's desire has the potential to transgress uh, all fixed identities and that's what's so beautiful about it. Um, I think in comparison today to 20 years ago or 40 years ago, yes, there's many respects in which we seem freer. I think we're more able to uh, speak about our desires, to speak about our bodies, to question also the norms uh, that form and shape uh, our understanding of desires. And yet, there's also a backlash at the moment, I think. There's a very strong movement that is anti-modernist, uh, anti-enlightened, and um, that is also trying to uh, repress uh, sexuality and desire again. So, I think it's, it's, it will always be, desire and sexuality will always be uh, sites of political contestation. So each generation has to um, frame their own desires and sexualities again and liberate them again. I don't think people suffer from their desires. I think people suffer from the way some desires are considered wrong or perverse or false or threatening. Um, I don't think people suffer about um, homosexuality. I think people suffer from homophobia. And so uh, one has to make sure that um, there is no shame anymore about any kind of desire, about any kind of body, about any kind of um, sexuality. And I think those should feel ashamed to want to consider some desires right and some desires wrong.